So this is a tour of the house so far. This is uh, 27th of May. Uh, we've got the windows in. Uh, we went for some of the cheapest vinyl frames with good glass in them. Just a question of economics, uh, you know, trying to stay on budget. Um, but they seem to work really well. They've worked uh, well in this area, so uh, you know we're hoping they're going to be good for us. So all the windows and doors are in. The house is now secure. It's lockable. Now we're coming into the main sitting area. This is where the sort of home TV is going to be, kind of a sitting area here. And then if you walk around, there'll be another sitting area there. <coughs> What we've got in the corner there is a double oven. Um, we picked up the last of the kitchen cabinets we'd bought off of Craigslist, uh, which is this piece here, and this island, a huge island. And at the time, the uh, guy who was selling, sold us that stuff, had a double oven, which we got for next to nothing. So uh, that's a great little addition that we'll have to find somewhere for in the house for that. So we've got a lot more kitchen units in storage. So the island is almost in the position um, where it's going to live. Uh, it'll go uh, another two feet or two and a half feet further back. It's on rollers at the moment when the pipes are all worked out uh, in there. And looking uh, to the west, sun shining in, but all the framing's done to the west, the windows are in. Uh, we had a rainstorm today. The concrete is not sealed. The waterproofing is not on, so we did get some rain come in today. There was a kind of big storm came through. So we're still we're still finishing the framing. Um, once that's done, uh, then uh, we'll be tidying the whole place up, ready for uh, electrical. This is uh, north. So in here is the. So study, office, you know, when my uh, parents come to visit, that kind of stuff. It's sort of a 12 by or 10, it's 11 by 12 room with a sliding door there. And then next to it, uh, with Fernando's wonderful arch that uh, he insisted on putting on. In the space where the table saw goes will be a kitchen unit that has a built-in oven, which we got from the uh, uh, same guy off Craigslist, a beautiful oven. The electrical box is uh, in the place, it's where all the fuses are. And then in here is uh, Lorraine's walk-in. This is a 6x5 with a space up there for an air conditioner. And how we're going to run this is a, an air conditioner with a uh, special alarm, uh, electronic uh, override. Uh, back door, and then over in the corner here, uh, where this plywood is, is where the water heater is going, the laundry sink, the washer, and the dryer. And coming in here into the master bedroom, uh, the framing is almost finished on this. Uh, along this wall in the kitchen is going to be where the sink and the dishwasher is going. And into the master bedroom, nice space with a bathroom, separate bathroom. In here, a bathroom and a shower. And then into here with a toilet, a separate toilet. Uh, this room will be divided in half. One of it is storage, one of it is uh, um, for the toilet. We can have access to the toilet here, but we can also open the door here into the main house. If we have a lot of guests and we really want two toilets in operation, but normally that door will be closed. This is the storage. There'll be a dividing wall between this, and then up over here will be a little bit more storage uh, because the toilet will just have an eight foot ceiling. So that's pretty much where we are now. Uh, this is the boys' bedroom. Uh, above that, there is an attic space for storage, and above the north side is an attic space for storage too, because if you think about it, we have no roofing, roof space here, so these are really good spaces to store our stuff. Uh, there are boys' bedrooms. 
to the left here will be a closet and to the right will be uh, sort of shelves, that kind of stuff and then they have like a 10 by 11 space with sliding doors, lots of windows and then walking through the room and this is Eric's bedroom, similar, just a mirror image and that's pretty much as it is. What we have to do next is the waterproofing for the house and get the soil on top of the house.